Hello and welcome. Today we're going to speak about the Pilot Custom 823 and the Twisby VAC 700R. Many of us have asked the question whether you should save up for the Pilot Custom 823 or if the Twisby VAC 700R is good enough. Let's dive into it. So we're going to go through these pens part by part and compare them and see which one comes out on top and compare whether or not the Twisby measures up. So first we're going to start with the fill mechanism. Now the whole reason that you'd be looking at both of these pens is that you're looking for a vac fill pen and these are two very popular pens in that category. So as far as that goes the Twisby VAC 700R has a very nice VAC fill system that fills it quickly and efficiently with quite a bit of ink. It's lovely, it's a demonstrator, you can see the ink inside. The Pilot Custom 823 also has one of the finest VAC fills that I've ever used. Very powerful, very quick, and puts quite a bit of ink inside of that pen. So if I was going to compare these, I would have to give the edge to the Pilot Custom 823. And the reason is that it just has a certain elegance the way it's integrated. It's smooth, it's efficient, it's designed a little slimmer and it just works just that much more elegantly and quickly and at times, and especially with that first fill, it makes this very dramatic whooshing ink noise. It's just a lot of fun. So it's an absolutely brilliant pen. It's hard not to give the first point to the Pilot Custom 823. In regards to the ink capacity, it's very similar. The Pilot Custom 823 holds slightly less at 2.37 milliliters or so, and the Twisby VAC 700R is at around 2.5 milliliters. But in practice, what that means is both of these pens hold a lot of ink that will last a very, very long time. So it's really marginal which one wins here. I mean, technically you could say the Twisby holds more, but that's not necessarily a good thing. I mean, I have a lack of attention when it comes to ink and I'm looking forward to the next ink that I'm going to put in my pen. So sometimes having two, three weeks worth of ink in my pen is a bit of a drag because I get bored after a while and I want to put it back in the bottle or, or waste it and I don't want to do that. So you really need to make your own mind up which way you want to go, but I would call this one even. So now we're going to go through and compare the overall design of each of these pens. And this one's tough because they're both very beautiful pens. So starting off with the Twisby VAC 700R, this pen is a demonstrator, which is a lot of fun because you can see what color of ink you have in there. It's sloshing around and the pen sort of becomes the color of the ink that you put into it, which is a really neat feature. So the Twisby VAC 700R is also slightly longer than the Pilot Custom 823. And even though it's only slightly, it feels significantly longer when you use it, and especially when you post this pen. But it is a beautifully designed pen. It's very nice. The one point where I feel like it falls off, and this is where it loses to the Pilot Custom 823, is that the Twisby VAC 700 has a bit of a flare that is a little obtrusive when you hold it and when you use this pen, and it sort of detracts from its overall design. It makes it less sleek and a little jarring with that bit of flare in the center of it. The Pilot Custom 823 though, is just a unified, elegant, perfect pen. The only point where I would flaw the design 
is that the cap, it has an unprotected ring right at the edge. So be very careful not to drop the cap. I feel like it could chip rather easily. I would have preferred if there had been a ring of metal to protect that cap edge. But setting all that aside, it is a perfectly designed pen. Absolutely elegant, feels perfect in the hand, perfectly balanced and absolutely brilliant. So another difference in overall design is that the Twisby VAC is a demonstrator. You can see right through it. The Pilot Custom A23 is more translucent. So you can get a sense of where you are with the ink, but you can't exactly see which kind of ink is in there. So you could weigh that. Nevertheless, in overall design, Pilot Custom A23 all the way. We touched a little bit on the caps, but now I want to turn it into a category. So I always get annoyed at the Pilot Custom 823 for not having protective metal around the edge. Whereas here with the Twisby VAC 700R, we have a glorious band of protective metal right where it needs to be. So on this one, I'm going to give the point to the Twisby. Next up are the clips. The clip on the Twisby VAC is fairly standard, rather rectangular, with a generic sort of catch at the end. It does fine with attaching to your shirt or wherever you stow it. And the Pilot Custom 823 has this very distinctive globe of metal at the end of the clip, which also does a brilliant job at clipping to your clothes and whatever else. I would also be careful if you're one of those people who clips your pens to your books. I think either of these would make a pretty serious indentation, though I feel that the A23 would make slightly less of one. So if that's a consideration, take that into account. So if I have to award a point on this one, I'm going to give it to the Pilot Custom A23 because it's a fairly unique design. It works excellently and it's just aesthetically beautiful. Setting aside that the Twisby VAC is iris, because that's almost cheating. Anything you coat with iris looks amazing, but still, I'm giving it to the pilot. Are you a person that will only buy a pen that posts? Well, then there is a consideration here. In my opinion, the Twisby VAC 700 does not post well. But what I'm speaking about is the balance. The Twisby VAC is long enough and the cap is long enough that if you try to write posted with it, it's awfully back weighted. And I find that you're almost fighting against your own hand to keep that nib down and where you want it. I don't find that a pleasant experience at all. You guys know I post some pens, I don't post others. The Twisby VAC 700, I never post. I find it extremely uncomfortable. However, unposted, no problem. Now the Pilot Custom 823 is beautiful posted. It balances well, it feels beautiful in your hand. I've never had trouble steering it across the page. I'm going to give the point for this one to the Pilot Custom 823. Now we're going to speak about maybe the most important thing of all. The nib of a pen is like the tires on a car. It's one of the most important parts. This is where it touches the paper, obviously. So now we need to compare these two nibs. The Twisby VAC 700 has a very nice Yovo nib. It's absolutely gorgeous in iris, which is seductive and uh, very beautiful, one of my favorite nibs aesthetically. Writing with it is also a joy. I know it's a Yovo nib, but for some reason, when it's married to the Twisby feed, it just feels very wet, very lush, very expressive, and I just love the combination. However, 
The nib on the Pilot Custom 823 is one of the most extraordinary, exquisite, expressive nibs out there. It's beautiful. It writes fantastically. It balances smoothness and feedback almost better than any other nib that I can think of. And at its price point, that's pretty amazing. Astounding, really. So if you have to weigh these two, I have to give it to the Pilot Custom 823. That 14 karat gold nib is absolutely amazing. Okay, so it sure seems that this is very much weighted toward the Pilot Custom 823. But you know, in former competitions, I threw out all the data and I just declared a winner at the end because it's just a certain type of pen. So will that happen today? Let's find out. Okay, so if you've seen some of my comparisons before, you know that this section is the most important and that is the writing experience. So what do I mean by that? I mean, what is this pen like to use day by day, every day, and how does it compare to the other pen? So the Twisby VAC 700R is a very enjoyable writer. However, with that bulge in the center, it's slightly awkward in your hand. It is still very smooth, very lovely to write with. I don't feel like you get a lot of feedback but it's absolutely brilliant to write with. I have cursive italic nib on mine. It's fantastic. I enjoy it. I use it regularly, not post it. However, the Pilot Custom 823 is one of the most uniquely magnificent writing experiences in any pen I can think of. I never tell you guys to buy a pen or that there's a pen that you have to have. However, if you were to press me to the wall and say, what is the pen I have to have? I'd say it's the Pilot Custom 823. I think it's that good. And I hope one day they protect that cap and then it'll be perfect. But anyway, perfect balance in your hand, fantastic feedback, just an incredibly enjoyable writing experience. I never get tired holding this pen and it never runs out of ink. It's just absolutely brilliant and perfect for whatever you use a fountain pen for. So the point here definitely goes to the Pilot Custom 823. Our next category is price. So this is an easy win for the Twisby VAC 700R. It costs $75 whereas the Pilot Custom 823 cost around $336. So that's quite a difference. So I think the question you have to ask here is, does the Twisby VAC scratch the itch if you're longing for the Pilot Custom 823? I would say it doesn't. They feel very much like two different pens. The Pilot Custom 823 is much more elegant, slim, sleek, whereas the VAC is beefy and tough. So I would feel much more comfortable traveling with the VAC, but if I'm writing at my desk or I'm at the office, I'm taking the Pilot Custom 823. So unless that's a consideration, your lifestyle, where you need a tougher pen, in which case I'd say buy the Twisby, I would have to go, and it, we may as well declare a winner here, don't spend $70 on the Twisby VAC. Save up the 336 and buy the Pilot Custom 823. It is a fantastic pen. It is a great investment in your own enjoyment. The time you'll get out of it, the fun you'll get in matching inks to it, the incredible writing experience, that beautiful nib. It's a fantastic pen. It's always in my top five, if not my top three pens. And even some of my other favorite pens aren't ones that I feel you have to own. 
I don't think that everyone needs to own a Mont Blanc Egyptomania, but the Pilot Custom 823 is at that level. It's that good and it's at a aspirational price without being ridiculous and have a pen that could last us for the rest of our lives and make us happy. So this competition goes to the Pilot Custom 823. Well, on that bombshell or extreme disappointment, depending on your perspective, it's time to end. Thanks so much for watching this video. What do you think? Did I choose the right pen? Would you save to get the Pilot Custom 823 or just buy a Twisby Vac and say, you know what? That takes care of the Vac fill category. Let me know in the comments. So if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I'd love to have you on this journey with us. And if you want to get more involved in supporting this channel, then become a member. There's a lot of fun going on behind the scenes. So I release new videos every Friday and I have a live show every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. So I promise we will see each other again further up the road. So take care.